car. He's been called reckless and Australia's biggest hoon. But Sam says he and his boys are just having a bit of fun. Turn the side, right? <laughs> I thought it was dangerous or something like the kids do it. Are you a hoon? No, absolutely not. He's damn right ridiculous. You might like tennis, uh, some people might like golf. We, we like burnouts. It's, 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 a, it's a sport for us. Sport or just stupidity? He's known as Mad Sam. Revhead dad teaching his own children to do burnouts in the driveway at just 8 and 12 years old. Look, I think it's all been blown out of the water. I think it's all over-exaggerated a little bit. We're just a normal Australian family, car enthusiast people, trying to have fun on our property. Not yet a teenager. Behind the wheel. Dad, Sam Sarace, thinks it's great. It was an accident waiting for somewhere to happen. Motoring expert Ian Luff is appalled. With an engine revving that high, burning rubber, the car could have had mechanical failure or possibly it could have been a fire. That would be where the risk comes in. There are many things that could go wrong. Number one, if an axle broke, being a front-wheel drive car, the vehicle could steer sharp right or left. And as we saw, there were people there trying to bounce the car up and down. So people could have got injured. Dad is not backing down. He believes it will only benefit his children. What is it that you hope your kids will learn from doing this? Um, to how to learn while well, they know how to drive a car, but just better experience. Um, there is a right place and a right time for it. So. When they do turn 18 and they get their own licence, they're out there in their own car and they go and pick up some, some of their friends and their friends, oh, do a burnout, do a burnout. They know not to. They know not to do a burnout? They absolutely know not to. Why, why would they not do it on the road? If it, doing... it's, it's illegal. It, it becomes a hoon. So they know not to do that. His defence is most of the time they're doing it in his own front yard or on a racetrack. We're at the burnout scene events all the time. There's one this weekend. Ian Luff says in a controlled environment, this sport is okay. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for it. Puts his foot down when it comes to behaviour like this. He can have all the arguments saying that it's okay, it's his driveway and it's his kids, but things can go wrong, and doing it in the driveway or the garage, I mean, that's really ridiculous. Victoria Police issued this statement. The actions of the supervising adult are irresponsible, reckless and potentially dangerous. If a person was injured, the supervising adult could potentially face criminal offences. Police also have the power to impound the vehicle for improper use and intentional loss of traction, which applies on both public roads and private property. This is not the first time a parent has come under siege for this type of behaviour. Last year, a proud father posted this YouTube clip of his seven-year-old daughter at the wheel, doing the exact same thing. My brother was killed by an out-of-control driver and it absolutely disgusts me and appalls me that, that these kids are being taught to behave in that way when they're in a vehicle. Lisa Markovic can't believe what she's looking at. It's not fun, it's ridiculous and it's dangerous and when they're old enough to be out on the road, I can almost guarantee you that they will behave, be behaving in that way. To see this sort of behaviour being encouraged by an adult, by a father, who is supposed to be responsible and teaching his kids to be safe. This really, really annoys me. They're normalising that whom type behaviour, which we know is incredibly destructive. CEO of Road Trauma Support Services, Cameron Sinclair, says this sends a dangerous message to children. But what we're doing is, again, giving them a false sense of security. We're giving them a real sense of bravado and perhaps artificial confidence. Can you see why maybe some people be worried, though, that yeah. they say, hey, look what Dad taught me, and you're not worried that, that no. they do that? No, absolutely not. Why? No, our, our children are being brought up the right way. Well, what do you think? Is he a reckless hoon or just a dad having fun with his kids? Have your say on our Facebook page.